Hey guys, welcome to another video on Brand Device where we talk about business and finance. My name is Bharat and today we finally have snow on the island. I'm so happy. I'm going to fly some drone afterwards and just like make some nice and beautiful shots for our Airbnb so that we can again like put a promotion for it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can buy Bitcoin from Coinbase. Not just Bitcoin, if you want to buy Ethereum or like other altcoins, you can also like buy it directly on Coinbase. The reason I'm talking about Coinbase today and a few other platforms and exchanges in the upcoming videos is that it is a very bad idea to just rely on one single platform to do anything. So for example, with Binance, I was trying to buy some more Bitcoin and turned out that my authentication of my credit card failed. So because of that, my account got temporarily suspended. You see here, I reached out to them, but every single time they're just copying and pasting the same exact email over and over again. And they are not even copying and pasting. I think it's just a bot like continuously responding. It says, if you want further assistance, please reply to this email, I reply. But then afterward, it just says the same thing over and over again, and there's no end to it. And it says, if you don't respond, on, we're just going to close the ticket. What kind of absolute nonsense is that? Anyways, I mean, Binance, it is a good exchange mainly because of the fees and everything. And my account is like still open to withdraw the money. So like that is nice. But this is the reason you should never rely on one single thing. Always have multiple different options that you can choose from. And in this video, let's take a look at Coinbase and how we can buy the crypto there. The fees is higher than Binance. You have to keep that in mind. But the interface is a lot, lot simpler. So like if you're just somebody who is absolutely new and you do not want to like deal with the interface of Binance, then Coinbase would be the perfect platform for you. It is simple to use. It is easy for beginners and everything is very clear and intuitive. Let me take you to the screen now. So we go to Coinbase now here. You see here, this is the home screen. Then afterwards, you can go to your portfolio. Then you have the next option of just buying, selling, converting, sending or receiving different kind of crypto. You can also like use English. So like don't get worried about it. Like why is it in German? It is also available in English. My phone language, I think is German. That's why everything is like this. Then you can see different kind of prices and stuff here. We have Bitcoin, Ethereum, Polkadot and like other cryptocurrencies. You also have Cardano right now. But if you take a look, it says that this coin is not supported by Coinbase. So again, like I pretty much think that they should be working on like getting this because this coin is going to be huge in the future. So for now, let's say we are going to buy some more of Bitcoin. We can just quickly go to Kaufen. And I'm going to make a one time purchase of 100 euros. Now they also show you the fee right away, which is like very nice. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to buy it with credit card. I personally find it nicer because like the transaction happens right away with the bank account transfer. You still have to wait for a long time. And once you've bought it, you can go at the right top corner and then you can put the amount inside that you want to take out. Once you do that, you can go into your private wallet. There you can click on, of course, Bitcoin. And then afterwards you can use the option of receive. And then you can put this address inside in Coinbase. This is how simple it is to actually buy your crypto on Coinbase. Coinbase. Now, what you have to remember is that setting up the account with them, it can take longer. So that's why if you're thinking about buying some crypto with them in the future, definitely make sure that you're like setting up the account as soon as possible. The entire verification and everything, it can take anywhere from eight hours to like up to a day. So you have to keep that in mind on Binance. Of course, it is a lot, lot faster. But like we have seen, like sometimes the customer support is just a bunch of bots which are sending you like automated email, which is like definitely annoying. So of course, we talked about Coinbase here. There are other platforms like crypto.com, you have Bitwala and you have a bunch of other like platforms which we can also take a look at. If you want to sign up for Coinbase as your second exchange, as a backup exchange or like even as a primary exchange, you can use my link given in the description and I'm also going to add some more details about Coinbase in the description so that you can follow them. If you haven't yet followed me on Instagram, do that. I post pretty much daily and I'll see you in another video. Bye.